the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Article 1. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience, and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. O ye who believe, choose not disbelievers for your friends in place of believers. Would ye give Allah a clear warrant against you? O ye who believe, choose not your fathers nor your brethren for friends if they take pleasure in disbelief rather than faith. Whoso of you taketh them for friends, such are wrongdoers. Say if your fathers and your sons and your brethren and your wives and your tribe and the wealth ye have acquired and merchandise for which ye fear that there will be no sale and dwellings ye desire are dearer to you than Allah and his messenger and striving in his way, then wait till Allah bringeth his command to pass. Allah guideth not wrongdoing folk. Let not the believers take disbelievers for their friends in preference to believers. Fight against such of those who have been given the scripture as believe not in Allah nor the last day, and forbid not that which Allah hath forbidden by his messenger, and follow not the religion of truth until they pay the tribute readily being brought low. Article 2 Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration, without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth or other status. O ye who believe, take not the Jews and Christians for friends, they are friends one to another. He among you who taketh them for friends is one of them. Lo, Allah guideth not wrongdoing folk. Article 3 Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. Then when the sacred months have passed, slay the idolaters wherever ye find them, and take them captive, and besiege them, and prepare for them each ambush. But if they repent and establish worship and pay the poor due, then leave their way free. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. Article 4 No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their forms. Allah coineth a similitude on the one hand, a mere chattel slave who hath control of nothing, and on the other hand, one on whom we have bestowed a fair provision from us, and he spendeth thereof secretly and openly. Are they equal? Praise be to Allah, but most of them know not. And Allah coineth a similitude, two men, one of them dumb, having control of nothing, and he is a burden on his owner. Whithersoever he directeth him to go, he bringeth no good. Is he equal with one who enjoineth justice and followeth a straight path of conduct? O ye who believe, let your slaves and those of you who have not come to puberty ask leave of you at three times before they come into your presence, before the prayer of dawn, and when ye lay aside your raiment for the heat of noon, and after the prayer of night. O ye who believe, Retaliation is prescribed for you in the matter of the murdered, the freeman for the freeman, and the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. Article 5 No one shall be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. As for the thief, both male and female, cut off their hands. It is the reward of their own deeds and exemplary punishment from Allah. Allah is mighty, wise. The only reward of those who make war upon Allah and His Messenger and strive after corruption in the land will be that they will be killed or crucified or have their hands and feet on alternate sides cut off or will be expelled out of the land. Such will be their degradation in the world, and in the hereafter theirs will be an awful doom. The adulterer and the adulteress scourge ye each one of them with a hundred stripes, and let not pity for the twain withhold you from obedience to Allah. 
if ye believe in Allah and the last day, and let a party of believers witness their punishment. Article 16 1. Men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality, or religion, have the right to marry and to found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage, and at its dissolution. Wed not idolatresses till they believe, for lo, a believing bondwoman is better than an idolatress, though she please you. And give not your daughters in marriage to idolaters till they believe, for lo, a believing slave is better than an idolater, though he please you. Men are in charge of women, because Allah hath made the one of them to excel the other, and because they spend of their property for the support of women. So good women are the obedient, guarding in secret that which Allah hath guarded. As for those from whom you fear rebellion, admonish them, and banish them to beds apart, and scourge them. Then, if they obey you, seek not a way against them. Lo, Allah is ever high, exalted, great. Article 17 1. Everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. 2. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. Article 18. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. This right includes the freedom to change his religion or belief, and freedom, either alone or in community with others, and in public or private, to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship, and observance. Then, when the sacred months have passed, slay the idolaters wherever ye find them, and take them captive, and besiege them, and prepare for them each ambush. But if they repent, and establish worship, and pay the poor due, then leave their way free. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. Article 19 Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference, and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media, and regardless of frontiers. Fight against such of those who have been given the scripture as believe not in Allah nor the last day, and forbid not that which Allah hath forbidden by his messenger, and follow not the religion of truth, until they pay the tribute readily, being brought low. Article 23 1. Everyone has the right to work, to free choice of employment, to just and favorable conditions of work, and to protection against unemployment. 2. Everyone, without any discrimination, has the right to equal pay for equal work. Allah coineth a similitude on the one hand, a mere chattel slave, who hath control of nothing, and on the other hand, one on whom we have bestowed a fair provision from us, and he spendeth thereof secretly and openly. Are they equal? Article 28 Everyone is entitled to a social and international order in which the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration can be fully realized. Whoso judgeth not by that which Allah hath revealed, such are wrongdoers.